What is the dumbest rule at your job? I'm not allowed to contact mall security or the police without district manager approval. I could have been just robbed at gunpoint in my store. My first call is supposed to be my DM to tell them I got robbed and can I pretty please call the police? I'm a librarian. If somebody asks me where anything is, I have to redirect them to the front desk. No matter what. Example of how this is dumb. Where's the bathroom? I'm pretty sure the front desk can help you with that. Well, today I got sent home for wearing the new uniform I was just issued and told to change back into the old one. I guess they haven't officially started the new uniform yet. The thing is, I'm the only security guard at an empty building with no one at it to even see me. All I did was trade a grey shirt for a white one. All the markings are the same. Seems pointless to me. You have to take empty box training to know how to handle boxes that are, you know, empty. If two snacks fall from the vending machine, we have to turn in the extra one or it's considered stealing company property. Had a manager follow me to the front desk to turn in some cookies last week. I work for a very superstitious Korean man. The rules are no red pens, no shaking your legs and no whistling after the sun goes down. These aren't official rules, but he gets very serious about these things and doesn't allow joking about ghosts the supernatural. We're not allowed to laugh out loud. My boss thinks we're secretly laughing at her. As soon as you're done with work and outside the building, just have a laughing circle in the parking lot. A long time ago I worked at a navy shipyard. There were two rules Ray. First aid kits at each work site. The OSHA type part of the organization had a rule that each work site had to have a first aid kit. The org that ran the workmen's comp stuff had a rule that first aid kits were prohibited at work sites. Any injury had to go to the industrial dispensary to establish a paper trail. Work site supervisors were screwed if they had a first aid kit. They were screwed if they didn't have one. The shipyard commander, a four striper, called the heads of each organization into his conference room. He told them when you two come to an agreement about first aid kits, call my office. I will have the marine at the door let you out. I'm tired of hearing about freaking first aid kits. We have to know where all the fire extinguishers are, but we're not supposed to put out the fire. If the microwave and printer run at the same time it trips a breaker that only property management can reset. So whenever anyone microwaves something they have to yell microwave so nobody prints. Gmail is blocked. Facebook and Twitter are not. I can wear any color jeans except blue. We are not allowed to refer to the Xerox machine as Bob Marley anymore even though it still jams way more than it Xeroxes. This is because apparently the CEO had tween daughter come one day and she got very upset when she thought the staff were keeping her from seeing Bob Marley in real life. She did not know that Bob Marley is dead. This made the CEO got stressed out and yell at us about the nickname. No mini fridges on even floor numbers. That sounds absurd, but the kitchenettes are on floors 1 and 3. In our small hospital department, there's an oxygen line W a giant on off valve that only affects our small department. If there's a fire, I can't turn the valve to close it. I have to call the nursing supervisor who is off site to come down to the fire and turn it off for me. I am not familiar enough with the rules of my job to choose the dumbest one, but at my old job, if a customer purchased something, then made it to the door with merchandise he or she didn't pay for, the cashier that rang them up was held accountable for it. We can expense Starbucks, but not food from Starbucks, because one guy was living off of Starbucks food for 3 months. Worst part was that he was an extremely well paid engineer, but frugal as frick. There's always some guy who ruins it for everybody. Because of some new shoots we got working who don't understand the concept of not using a phone when there is work to be done. Everyone has to put their cell phone in a bucket at 6pm. Or whenever the evening rush starts. Frick you, Kerrigan. We're not technically allowed to talk about our salaries with each other even though the amount we each individually make is a matter of public record. That means that if you get a promotion, you have to either file a public records request to find out what your peers are making, and therefore pee off your new boss, or you have to violate the directive. It makes it pretty darn hard for an employee to negotiate. 
I'm entrusted with the care of mentally handicapped clients, including being trained in first aid, CPR, and the Heimlich maneuver, but apparently changing a light bulb or adjusting the thermostat in the group home where I work is too big a responsibility for me to be allowed to do. We are not to discuss politics on our personal social media account. This sounds illegal. My last manager, global company, tried to tell us that if she saw us at each other's desks discussing non-work related things, we had to keep track of those minutes and take them as vacation. She didn't last long. Women aren't allowed to lift anything, literally anything. I was going to dump a trash can full of shredded paper in the dumpster last week and my boss caught me, made me put the trash can down, and go find someone to dump it for me. I was literally lifting the thing with one hand. As my job requires a lot of lifting and I hate asking for help constantly, I have mastered the art of picking up 50 plus LB boxes and running with them so no one catches me. Do not throw any personal items in company dumpsters or waste receptacles. All items to be discarded must be taken home. You cannot leave 250 miles of the area without getting your request to leave said area approved. And you have to take lots of online and in-person classes on how to be safe, not to beat your wife, not to drink and drive, and how to not be stressed out, and wear a reflective belt everywhere. I work construction. We're not allowed to tell the new guys how many newbies died in their first week. Young guys don't naturally think about safety. They think they'll live forever. Your gravity doesn't give a crap what you think. Stay away from the ledges and open elevator shafts. We weren't allowed to sit at my old job. Even though our job didn't require us to walk or stand for any reason. We weren't allowed to sit because a worker in the past once pushed to chairs together and slept. At the daycare where I used to work, 1. Eat the same food as the kids during meal times to promote healthy habits and model good table manners. 2. Do not serve yourself until all of the children are served and have had as many servings as they'd like. 3. Do not eat when the children are not eating. 4. Do not eat unless the children are finished. 5. Meal times require staff to be actively serving the children and regulating behavior, they are not a staff lunch break. So basically we have to eat their food, but can't eat their food, but can't pack a lunch because we aren't allowed to eat different food but we can't eat the prepared food, and there was no fixed menu so we could fudge similar enough food from home to share, and we have to eat when they eat but we can't be eating while they're eating because we have to do our job and we can't take it in shifts because we have the minimum staff to child ratio in rooms at all times to avoid waste. 99% of us just ate whatever the frick we wanted during nap time if all the kids were asleep or the awake ones got soothed in shifts so we could eat. The other 1% didn't work over meals or just ate whatever. Supervisors aren't allowed to have any unnecessary contact with employees under them outside of work. This wouldn't be that idiotic if it weren't for the fact that the supervisors are just other teenagers that got conned into taking on a bunch more work for a .50 raise. You can finish your work on time, you can log in and log out on time, no one cares. The ones who get praise are people who work late and why do they work late because they can't finish the work on time. But it's fine, Bob is working late and taking up so much load for company. No frick you, Bob is working late because he can't fix a single line error for 4 fricking days. Bob knows exactly where that line error is. My dad is a flight nurse. He has a flight suit that he carries anything he could possibly need while transporting a patient. One day he came home all peed off. I carry all kinds of needles and drugs that can paralyze someone but they won't allow me to have my Muli tool on me because it has a knife blade over 3 inches long. We couldn't back into parking spaces at my old job. Our safety protocol states that if there is a fire and there are wheelchair bound students or employees on the second floor, we are to leave them at the top of the stairs for the firefighters and emergency personnel to help once they arrive colon. So, basically they get to burn to death. I work in a small programming company, we haven't set up any kind of version control yet. So to avoid overwriting other people's changes to packages and scripts we have an item associated with each file. If you want to edit a file you need to go to the person with that item and ask if they're done editing the file. If yes you take the item so the next person has to ask you. 
Thing is these items are just whatever we had in the office at the time. Chart package is associated with a foot tall clay zombie gnome. Filter package is a pair of 3D glasses, which some people insist on wearing when editing that file. Those are the strangest too. We also have a few kinda egg toys and an empty bottle of Jack Daniels. I worked somewhere that had a separate code for different parts of the building. Quite a few got locked in the stairwell without knowing. Can't go anywhere unless we have another person to accompany us. Bathroom, store etc. Look busy. I freaking hate looking busy. Snowballs are banned for everyone now because some kid, customer, on a chairlift hit a skier and the balls with one. Not my current job but, at my old chain restaurant job we weren't allowed to give cups with bottles of soda. They had to purchase soft drink cups to have cups for their 2 liter and it was ridiculous. Here goes. So I work in a warehouse school that doubles as a program that employs mentally challenged people. It has a scared straight program for juvenile delinquents and we also take prisoners from a work release program. I am a support worker which means I am a normal, adult worker whose job is to keep production afloat. For one, we can't have knives. In a warehouse, where 90% of the jobs we do require a knife. Two men are kids prisoners mentally ill people stabbing each other. We can't change the station to oldies because the subject matter is too suggestive. We can only talk about three subjects. Sports, news, and the weather. If someone hugs you, protocol is to stand still. Do not hug back. Do not push away and wait for a teacher to pull the kid off of you. Here's some things us support workers have done and weren't fired for. Doing H in the bathroom. Doing H in a car. Doing H in someone else's car and then doing the owner of the car in broad daylight when the special kids are around. Getting fingered by a married co-worker outside of the office window and moaning loud enough for everyone to hear. Pulling to no call. No shows every week for a year. Me. Showing up s faced drunk. Sometimes me. Smoking a blunt in the front parking lot. Half the workers get stoned on lunch break and the supervisor is fine with it. The assistant supervisor joins in. Giving a kid a cigarette. Me. Telling a kid to step back a few feet cause I can smell the dong on your breath. Dating a high school kid. The list goes on. Bonus story. We had a 300 plus LB woman who wrote down escort as her only past work experience on her application. She was hired, but left in the middle of her first day to see a John. Sister is a cheerleader for a professional sports team. They aren't allowed to talk to any of the players at all. If they have any interactions with them, they are fired immediately. Sucks cause I really want my sister to have Kevin Durant's babies. I, I think that's what they're trying to avoid. No hoodies. Jeans and tennis shoes are okay but hoodies is where they draw the line. Just seems silly for an office with almost no dress code to be adamant about their employees not wearing hoodies even if it's raining. Except on Friday. Friday hoodies are okay. When I was in the military, you weren't allowed to put your hands in your pockets. No microwave popcorn. No post-it notes. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.